Hey there, everyone. So, this is going to be about Bitcoin again. I did a video before about Bitcoin uh, and pretty much showed how much of a pain in the ass it is to buy it. Well, your buddy Jason has discovered a very simple way now, and it's immediate. Immediate as in within minutes, you'll have Bitcoin in your wallet. Okay, so we'll go over getting a Bitcoin wallet first, and then we'll go over buying money to put in to the Bitcoin wallet. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, open a browser. This can be on the clear net. Doesn't need to be on the uh, doesn't need to be on uh, on the Tor network or anything like that. Go over getting a Bitcoin wallet. So let's just do a Bitcoin search. Choose your wallet, Bitcoin. Blockchain.info is one of the more commonly used ones. In fact, that's the one I use. So let's go ahead and do this. Log in now or start a new wallet. We're going to go with this option. Start a new wallet. This is where we'll put on our info. Um, I don't know how. I don't think it's that important. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, you want to use a nice little anonymous uh, anonymous uh, email address. Me at home.com is what I'm going to do. Let's see if that'll even work. And continue. Okay, it's been created. This here is how you recover your wallet if you ever lose it. If you ever lose the uh, the wallet information. Okay, so this is something you should save into a text file or something, and then or write it down like they suggest. Write it down and put it in a safe or something like that. So you'll just copy and paste that or write it down and save that somewhere. That's what you'll use to recover your wallet information if you should ever lose your login or lose the wallet address, that sort of thing. Let's go ahead and continue. This is our identifier. Okay, that's what the basically your login name. You should save that. And the password we just created. Let's open our wallet. This here is our Bitcoin address, okay? So we're going to copy that to the clipboard. We'll be using that in just a moment. Let's copy that to the clipboard and we'll minimize this. Next website we're going to is called circle.com. This is one of those websites that allow you and a circle of friends to exchange money between each other. Like if you bought your buddy a coffee, this is he, he could pay you back immediately with his uh, smartphone using apps this way okay so we're going to sign up with this program sign up with circle my name today is Joe Blow my email I'm not sure I'm trying to remember if they do a confirmation or not I'm not sure if they do or not anyway Joe Joe at below.com. Let's see if this even works. Create account. Oh, no, they do send a thing. Anyway, okay. Well, let's forget about that one then. Sign out of this. I'll go ahead and sign in on my account. Okay, this is one of their security. This is one of their security things. So they send me a text message. And uh, let me type that in. Okay, and you see I have a zero balance here. But check out what I did. This is what I, this is uh my Bitcoin address that I sent money to, okay? You can send money to your friends, debit cards or whatever. You can send money to their Bitcoin address. And you can do it all with a credit card or a debit card just by adding money. You add money to your Circle account using a debit card, and it's there immediately, all right? And once it's in your Circle account, you'll send money. Send money link is right here. You'll send it to... Guess who? 
Bitcoin address, my own Bitcoin address. I'll put in the amount. No message is necessary and I'll hit continue. And within minutes, guess where it shows up? Yes, it shows up in your Bitcoin wallet right here. Okay, that's how that works. That's how that works. So it's uh, it's a great tool. It makes everything so, so much easier. And uh, remember to like, remember to subscribe, folks. And remember to comment if you have any questions. I'm uh, always trying to keep up with these questions. I appreciate them all, and I hope my answers are sufficient. Thanks again. Bye. See you next one.